All right guys, so we have horrible news here. It's only been two weeks and I think my HomePod is already broken. So the first sign of it was when I started noticing that my phone couldn't connect to the HomePod at all. And I quickly jumped over to my MacBook to try the same thing too. Playing music from the iTunes, it still wouldn't work. So I tried every single phone to make it connect and it wouldn't do so. It would actually give me an error saying that AirPlay or the HomePod does not exist on the server or something along that line. So I jumped onto Apple.com and tried their live support and it gave me some ideas on how to hard reboot this thing, how to reset it to factory again and give it a shot one more time. I went through a whole series of rebooting and turning it off and in the end it still wouldn't connect again. So they told me to bring it inside an Apple retail. So the only big downside here is Apple doesn't currently support the HomePod in Canada, which means I have to drive roughly about like 400 kilometers back down to the States and get my thing repaired. Now it might be replaced or repaired, I don't know which one it might be, but if it is repaired, they better be shipping it all the way back here for me because I'm not gonna wait there for them to repair this entire device. Now after talking to tech support, they told me that's the only option I can do right now. I can't mail it in because this wasn't purchased online, so I quickly jumped onto the internet and searched up Reddit and see if anybody else was experiencing this problem. Apparently there are a couple people experiencing this same issue. They said it had something to do with the module inside that takes care of the whole wireless syncing. That has been fried or however it might be, be and it stopped working with the airplay but I will give you guys a demo here and show you guys exactly how I am experiencing it. Just looking right here I still have the brand new tab I haven't even peeled that out meaning that this thing is literally brand new and I paid roughly about 500 something Canadian for this which is horrible I mean I don't even know if I'm going to be keeping this this is well within the 14 or 15 day exchange or refund warranty so I don't know if I'm going to be keeping the HomePod at all I might be waiting out for the next iteration of it right now for the price of what it is I can buy many Sonos or I can buy a bunch of other speakers although they don't highlight all the crazy features like Apple does about shooting it bouncing it off the wall and whatnot I never had them in the same room so I can't really compare there but I do feel like the Bose competes with this very well all right and just as I mentioned I'm gonna show you guys on camera exactly how I am experiencing it right now we have this song playing it's a non copyrighted song sounds really nice I'm gonna play it for you guys to hear So as expected, everything is working very well on the iPhone itself, but when we start to switch it over to the living room, which I set it to be living room for the HomePod, you're gonna see exactly what happens. Alright, we're gonna tap onto the little icon right at the bottom here, select living room, and it's gonna connect, and we'll tap out of it, and we'll click play, and it will still play on the iPhone. Now, I tried it on every other firmware, let's try this, we'll tap onto here to reconnect. Tap to connect and you guys can see it says unable to connect to the living room. Thought this was a beta firmware on the iPhone 10 and that was probably the issue but it isn't. There is no way of connecting it. I'll hit the living room again and I'll click play. So after doing so it's just going to automatically switch back to the iPhone speaker again because it would not connect to the HomePod. And if you guys don't believe me we're going to jump onto Mac OS now and you guys will see the exact same thing happening over here. Alright guys so we have my MacBook here ready and loaded up. Now we're going to quickly ask Siri a couple questions here just to make sure that she's active. It's 11.05 a.m. So she's definitely active and ready to listen. So I am subscribed to Apple Music if you guys were wondering. Everything is happy and ready to go right now. We're going to click on the first track here and see what happens. So at the top there, you guys can see it says connecting to the living room. And you guys will see an error icon just pop up. It's really odd. I've never seen this before in my whole one week of using it. But after that one week, everything started to go wrong. Now after using the HomePod for a while, I want to give you guys a full on review of how it is. The only reason that it is so cool is because it's connected to Siri. And I am an Apple guy to be honest. I am a little bit more biased towards Apple and I like how everything is connected together. However, for this HomePod right now, the first generation of it at least, I don't think it is ready for prime time just yet. Now it's been about 30 seconds now and you guys can see that it's still connecting to the living room and an error code has arrived. Now since an error occurred while connecting to AirPlay device, living room and unknown error occurred 65568. I don't know what the error code means, but there it goes, it finally disconnected and it gives you sort of this orange icon right up top here. So that's pretty much what I have been experiencing for the last couple of days. This is what's making me drive all the way down to Seattle once again. And because of all the time, the custom, the drive, the gas, everything combined, I feel like I'm wasting so much money on this HomePod alone. Now, if you guys have any experience in this that can save me a drive all the way down there, please drop me a comment below. I would really appreciate it. Now, I'm already dreading the whole idea of driving all the way down there just to replace this or repair it. I feel like I might just scrap it completely and just not use it, but who knows, right now my HomePod is completely dead and that's what the title of this video is going to be all about. My recommendation is if you guys don't live in the US, the UK, or Australia, just don't buy the HomePod because you guys won't have any support for it. Luckily, I live in Canada, Vancouver, and I'm only a little bit of a drive away from the next closest Apple store in America. But again, if you guys were shipping this out of your country to a far distance away, which requires a boat trip or a plane trip, 
just keep an eye out for that. You guys won't have any support from the US side. I will be giving you guys a little bit more thorough update as this thing goes on. And this is it for this little update guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up before you guys head out of the channel. Once again, peace out.